Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I am going to be showing you where to get Windows 10 keys for the cheapest possible price that you can find online because Windows 10 on its own, if you were to go out and buy a retail disc or a key from the Windows Store, you're looking at paying a hundred dollars. And if you are a new system builder, like if you're getting into PC gaming and you just built a new system, a hundred dollars could be a huge chunk of your budget, sometimes maybe even 10% if you're working with a thousand dollar budget. I recently did that system build for a kid for his first PC on Christmas, and he had originally sent me over his PC part picker list with about a thousand dollar budget, and he had a Windows 10 key factored into that for an extra hundred dollars, but I was instantly, I was just like, don't worry about Windows 10, I'll take care of that, because I can get keys for five or ten dollars usually online, and then we can take that extra hundred dollars you would have spent on a Windows key, and put it into the hardware instead, which is really where you should be investing your money and not wasting it on a hundred dollar piece of software, which you can definitely get online for cheaper if you know where to look. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'll be showing you where to get it the cheapest and also how to install it once you get your key in case you are do happen to be new to PC gaming and setting up a system and you've never done this before. I'll walk you through how to get it really quickly on a USB so that you can install it on your system. But let's talk about a couple of the options for getting Windows keys that maybe you might have heard of to get them the cheapest. One place is over on Reddit. You can go over to Microsoft Software Swap and you can look around on there and you might be able to find a good price. Occasionally you might be able to find them for $10 or less. Right now I was just looking around on there and they were about $40 to $45 honestly. And this listing right here, if you scroll down, you can see the Windows 10 Pro is $40. If we go back, let's check another one. And scroll down this one is Windows 10 Pro $45 so it looks like right now on the Microsoft software swap you're sitting selling around 45 bucks so that is one route that you can go if you want to buy them on reddit I'll leave links to all these sites down in the description so you can peruse them just in case you are able to find a better deal down the road other options that you can go through are key sites like Kingwin they have them right now for around $30 I've seen them as low as 20 but they're usually between 20 and 30 dollars looking on there right now you can see they're around 26 euro which is 30 dollars american so a little bit more or a little bit less i should say than reddit but there are cheaper options still there is also a website called no keys right now you can find them over there for nine dollars and 49 cents and like all of these other pages the prices do fluctuate but right now they're nine dollars and 49 cents so that is the cheapest that we have been able to find so far However, the website that I always go through for all of my Windows keys, which I have for quite a few years now, is eBay. The site most of you are probably more familiar with than any of the other ones we've gone over here is eBay, where you can get them extremely cheap. So all you have to do to find these is go over to eBay and then type in the Windows version you're looking for, Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Professional. Um, I was able to find some different results typing in Professional versus Pro, so try both. Right now, we're on the Windows 10 Professional search results, and I also did narrow down the search criteria by clicking the download format, which means you'll get the keys pretty much instantly. In my experience, when I buy Windows keys over on eBay, I get the key back in a private message in less than five minutes. So you don't get anything in the mail. They don't send you a, a, a disc or anything physical by mail. You're just getting a private message back with the CD key. So if we scroll down on here, we can see initially we've got some options here as I've also sorted by the lowest price first. Some of these right here, these you're going to want to stay away from as it says install recovery upgrade ISO file download. All they're really selling you there is a link to download it, which is or really the package installer for the ISO, which is silly. You don't want to buy that. That does not include a Windows 10 key at all. You want to make sure that you are buying a key. So if you scroll down just a little bit, we can see that the cheapest option here is Windows 10 Professional 64 and 32 bit, which you want to make sure it does have 64 and 32 bit, although it should be all of them by now. But you definitely want to get 64 bit as a lot of the newer games coming out are, you know, requiring 64 bit and 32 bit is getting completely phased out by Microsoft with its support over the next couple of years. So make sure you do have a 64 bit option and make sure that it says activation key. And if it says something like instant delivery, that's really good as well. Now, if we click on that, we can go on here. We can see that the seller has 918 reviews with 99.6% positive feedback, which is all good stuff. If we click on the review ratings, we can scroll down and we can see some recent reviews, all Windows 10 keys, pretty much Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows 10, all positive feedback. So that is some good signs that you want to look for if you're trying to buy a key over on eBay. 
So be sure to, that you are able to find that. If you're watching this video when it first goes up, I'll leave a link to this direct listing here or to just the search results over on eBay if you happen to be coming at a later date. But like I said, right now, this listing is only $6.48 American or 4.79 Great British Pounds. So very, very cheap. This is the cheapest option that I have been able to find today. But chances are you can, might even find it a little bit cheaper going later on. But this is about as low as they go. I bought When I bought the key for that Windows system I was building recently, like I said, for that kid, I paid $5.50. So you might even find them for $5 if you happen to be lucky enough when you are shopping for the key. But $6.48 is great, but this is just for the CD key. You're only going to get this email to you. So once you do get your key, you want to get the installer. So you need to make sure that you have a USB drive or a DVD if you want to burn a DVD. Although the easiest way, in my experience, is to just use a USB drive. So to get that, I'll leave a link to this as well. Uh, you want to go over to the Windows 10 download website, which is hosted by Microsoft. This isn't like some crazy torrent or illegal activity here. This is directly from Microsoft. You go over to the Microsoft website and you want to come down here and look for the Create Windows 10 Installation Media and just click Download Tool Now and then it will go ahead and download this little media creation tool which I'm going to open up on my screen and I'll walk you through um, the setup very briefly here as to what you got to do but you're pretty much just following on-screen commands here. So once it's done processing that, you got the terms of service, you just go ahead and click accept through that unless you want to go ahead and, and read it so you don't end up as a human centipede. Just make sure you go ahead and read through the terms of service. No, I'm just, I'm joking. You don't have to read it. Now you'll get an option here if you want, you can upgrade this PC right now. So that would be good if you are already running Windows on a system and maybe you're on like an older OS like Windows 7 or Windows 8, then you could just go ahead and hit upgrade this PC now. But if you're building a new system, likely you'll want to create an installation media. So you want to check this option right here and then go ahead and click on next. And then the, the screen after that, you can just click next on through this, which is usually set up by default to use the recommended options for the PC that you're on and then go ahead and click next. And then you have the option of doing a USB flash drive, which I'll be doing, or you can do an ISO file if you want to burn it to a DVD. But like I said, we're going to use the USB drive. So you just click next. Make sure that you select the right USB that you want to put it on. So I have right here in my J drive, my extreme USB, and just go ahead and click next. And then it will create your installation media, which will take a few minutes. But once that is all done creating the installation media, you're pretty much ready to go. From there, all you have to do is take the USB, plug it into the system that you want to install Windows on and select it from the boot order in your BIOS, which you know can vary based on the motherboard that you're using. But Pretty much this, the standard operation is just boot up the system, hold down or keep pressing the delete key to get into the BIOS and then look for your boot option so that you can set it to a USB and not the SSD or the mechanical hard drive or whatever you happen to be using in the system. And you're just following on screen commands from there on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little guide on how to get Windows keys the cheapest way possible. If you have any friends, you know, that are looking to build a system and they want to get keys and not have to factor in a hundred dollars on top of their PC build budget, then definitely send them on over to this video or just direct them to eBay where they can get keys the cheapest way possible. My eBay link that I will be leaving in the description is an affiliate link for full disclosure. So I do get a small kickback anytime you buy it over there, but that's not really the main reason I'm directing you over there. The reason is because that's where I buy my windows keys and it's where I bought them for quite a few years. And up until now, I've not had a single issue and most of the keys I get, I'll usually hold on to because I've installed them on multiple systems usually before I get an error, an error back from Microsoft saying that this is activated on another system, but usually I can get them up and running on anywhere from three to five systems without an issue here in my house as I'm always doing PC builds and shuffling things around. So I'll usually just go back and refer to these CD keys and just put it on a new system as well. And it usually will be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you have a very happy new year. Tara.